Hi y'all, so today I was coming to you all to do a sweat hood, sweatshirt dress. And what you're going to need is two sweatshirts, a seam ripper, a, um, some scissors, or a rotary shears in your sewing machine. So, we're going to get right into it. And I'm going to explain the first step that I did in this video. Okay. So, you're going to lay your sweatshirt out flat. Um, what I did with my sweatshirt is I took, I flipped it inside out and I took my seam rippers and I ripped all the seams going around to detach the waistband to my other sweatshirt. And I flipped the pockets inside out and I ripped the seams around the pockets because I was going to detach the pockets from one of the um sweatshirts that was going to be the bottom portion of the sweatshirt so this is the sweatshirt that is going to be the top portion um it's a nike sweatshirt the other one is a purple clemson hood sweatshirt so i'm gonna get right into this video okay so i let my sweatshirt flat out like this um also you want to take you want to have measuring tape and you want to see how long you want your dress to be. And I wanted my dress to stop like on my thigh, probably like mid thigh. So I measured it out and from my shoulders to my mid thigh is about 34 inches. So for the top portion of this, I'm going to be slicing it that way. But to measure how long it's going to be, I know it's going to be roughly about 13 to 14 inches. So, I'm just going to lay this out flat first, kind of get it right. And it will probably be easier to just use your rotary shears. Rotary scissors. And I'm just taking it straight across. <clears throat> so I decided to come on camera and show you all how I ripped the seams of the um, pockets. Because I didn't want to cut them. I never know what I might make later on. So I took the fabric like this and kind of flipped it down. And this is the inside of the pocket. So, if you flip it this way, it kind of just shows you some seams. And you just take your seam cutter like this. And as you see, it just cuts the seams. And it's going to be two sets of seams. One at the top and one at the bottom. And you're going to do this until you get the whole pocket off. And I removed the top part of the pocket from the jacket. And now I'm going to continue to um, take my rotary cutters and just cut across. Okay, so since I got a majority of it cut, I'm just going to right here and cut up. Okay, so we have the bottom half of the jacket cut, well, the dress now cut. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is measure again. 
because um, now that you have the top part of the jacket done, you just need to know how much of the second part needs to be done. So from here to there, it's 14 inches. Okay. And we're going to have the bottom half of the jacket be the remaining inches. So that lets you know how much we need to cut off. Okay, so now we have the second jacket. Um, for this part, just trying to straighten it out first. Make sure it's all flat. And we're going to be taking the bottom half of this. Um, so I'm just trying to measure to see how long it is. Um, I might end up even taking some inches off of it, but I'm going to cut from a little bit right here by the um, elbow underarm part, and I'm gonna cut diagonally or whatever it is. Um, so, I'm just gonna make an indentation right there and kind of just gonna go up okay so we're gonna toss this part to the side and just to kind of make sure Just kind of match the two up to one another. It's a little shorter than I wanted, but it's okay. Um, the pocket is gonna go somewhere around that region. I'm going to take the blue elastic band. See how long this is by itself. The elastic band is four inches by itself, so my dress might um, still come out as long as I want it to be. So we're going to, um, I'm going to show you all how to remove the waistband from this. Um, so you're going to go to your sewing machine, you're going to flip it like this <clears throat> and you're just going to pin this all the way around and you're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it um i'll probably show you all that First, I'm going to show you how to remove the waistband from the dress. So, you're going to take your seam ripper. And it doesn't matter where you start at. I just take it and run it along the same since it's a darker sweater it's kind of harder to see it than on my purple sweater <clears throat> 